Welcome back. In the previous part, we crash landed on a planet. Things didn't go well straight away, did they? They really didn't. But we met up with some lovely people. Well, one of them was lovely anyway. And they gave us a sword. We fought back against some enemies. And then we found this guy, Duma, this floating thing here. But right at the end, we saw some shinies. What are these shinies? What are they? Duma PTS. You can obtain DP, Duma PTS, by collecting gems. You need DP to learn and strengthen Duma's skills. To carry that out, open the menu and go to Duma. Gems have many unsolved mysteries. They may appear in places where they were supposedly never found before. Or they may lie in places that are not easily reached. Well, one advantage of us having Duma is we can actually fly around now. So it's like, okay. Now we can get up to places and... Just bounce around. What is that green gem over there? Is that going to be a material? Yeah, because that's that. Oh, I just saw that in the distance. So if I go up there. Is there a way to keep that going? That's the question. So I'm just wondering, like, button-wise. Roly poly bean, okay. Look at the statues over there. Some kind of building up there as well. Oh, hello. We'll be having that. Sweet. Sweet, some silver. And then apparently we can scan our surroundings with L2 as well. So let's do that. No idea what that did. Didn't really help us out. Leticia does seem to need a heal as well, though. Just wondering if there's a chest behind here. Nope. Right, let's carry on with where we're meant to be going, though. Can I just do that to get around very quickly? It just constantly bounce around like this. The route and scenery are different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. At least it allows you to just bounce around very quickly. Successfully attacking an enemy without being noticed will get you a surprise attack bonus. Enemies and nearby enemies hit by your attack will be incapacitated for a time. This will blindside them, allowing for greater damage, as well as potential for extra rewards if you destroy them then. Ooh. Surprise attack chain. Successfully executing a series of surprise attacks will create a chain. You get a bonus based on the chain count. Nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks. Even the most... Aggressor radar. When in standby or when Duma's barrier is active, a circular radar will deploy around your character. Icons will appear on your radar showing the enemy's position and status. Small white dot, enemies who are have not noticed the active character, yellow circle, enemies who have noticed the active character. You can see some yellow circles already for me. Red circle, enemies about to perform a deadly attack against the active character. Watch out for the red ones then. Enemies who notice the active character will be looking straight ahead. Enemies about to attack will narrow their vision. Making them an easy target for a blind side. Ah, uh, yes, of course, because, yeah, they're looking straight at you. Jump around the back of them. Boom, you got them. Seasoned adventurers might get lost. I'm just seeing about... Oh, did that one die as I was doing that? I think it did. Well-timed dodge. When you perform a dodge and barely escape an attack, this is called a well-timed dodge. This will increase the VA gauge, making blind saves even more advantageous. Try it if you feel confident. If. Can I do a chain of dodging? That's my question. Like, can I go boom? Like, oh. Well, the battle finished. Wanted to try and jump around it several times so I can get properly behind it. We must pass through this building, no? Indeed. The interior mate. Alright, we're getting into battles and interrupting what they're saying. The max AP used for attacks increases temporarily whenever you successfully execute a blindside attack. However, this increased limit will reduce if you take damage or are knocked down. AP can increase or decrease from a range of 5 to 15. If you use a VA attack to defend or attack and then increase AP, you can launch more skill-based attacks, giving your character advantage in battle. Increase max AP carries over even if you swap characters. Max AP of non control characters is filled at a min value. It'd be complicated, so take care not to lose your way. 
The exit is on the southern side of the ruins. <laughs> I bet Duma could probably just zip around a building like this. I think it's going to take a little while to get used to the whole Doom aspect. Prep for engagement. Right. Damage times two. Okay. It's much quicker than you expect as well tr when you're trying to do the dodge. Sweet. For shade. Need something with a bit more health so I can do a bit of training to really get used to the whole blind size and how they work in this. Here's the question, can I jump off but then do that and be fine? Yes, I can. Kind of like that though, kind of like that. As I said previously, we'll be doing one of every enemy. We are nearing the exit of the ruins. I was going to stop so she could carry on speaking, but she finished up. Graphically, it's reminding me of um, Shadow of the Colossus in a strange way. We must pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset Village, must we not? I think it's oddly reminiscent of the PlayStation 3 era. I think that's what I'm thinking there, or late PlayStation 2. Full screen map. You can open up the full screen map with R2. Use it to check the terrain and your way to the next destination. Can I open the full screen map during battles or cutscenes? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, uh, that's so. Uh, well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. Oh, I kind of like that though. Destroy. Yeah, I need something with more health. We must pass through the forest to reach Larset Village. Time offers us no respite. I know, I'll be quick about it. Just so I have time to experiment with how it all works. I need like a training dummy, basically. Just a training dummy, that'll, that'll sort me out. Uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... But I don't want to hear it. Okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for. Right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh, uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Uh, yes? Uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... 
Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Osarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset village is to the south. She said you are loved very strangely then, didn't she? And now I want these, don't I? Enemies up ahead. I'm well aware. I'm well aware, thank you very much. Well, that's got a kind of Gower Plains feel to it. Just with the pointy bits in the distance. Bleh. Get the jump on him. I like it keeps the momentum though. Guess we'll grab these guys while we're here. You can really take into account the momentum. Yeah, I'm, li I'm liking that verticality aspect. Because you're. A lot to play around with. If we continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just beyond it then? Unfortunately not. It will take us some time to pass through the Larkus region. I was waiting for the voice work there. We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. <laughs> Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. I'm liking this area. It's probably being absolutely butchered on YouTube, though. Thinking about it. Bitrate will probably be going through the roof. Well, it won't be going through the roof. It'll be doing the exact opposite and just butchering this entire area, so I'm thinking I'll stay still for a moment after this battle so we can get a proper look at this place. I only feel like doing blind sides on the bigger enemies, though. But yeah, get, get a proper look here. It's like, stay still so YouTube can cope. It's got all these little things just moving around. It's, it's nice with the sun coming down on it. Hello. It's got a sort of a platformer aspect to it as a result of all these things we can collect. Ooh, I'm liking that with the shade there. Lighting's decent. I would say it's amazing, it's decent. Your Highness, the village of Larset lies to our west. West, indeed. Ooh boy, can't wait to kick my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. <sighs> I second the latter. Come. Let us be about it. Let us be about it. Our set village is not far now. Could I have just gone up over the door? Or the gate? What's with the orb? There's a thing on the roof. I want to get it. I want to get it. Whew. Made it at last. Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kind of makes us stand out. 
I do not think it an issue, as it closely resembles a Semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. Not the green thingy. Got you. A Semiomancer's orb, huh? All right, then. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. Size of this one. 15, not bad. Oh, there's several several things around on the reefs and the roofings. You know what, graphically what this is kind of feeling like, it feels like an MMO. That's what I'm getting from it. We have arrived. We haven't. I'm trying to get on the roof, mate. Ah! There he is. He's. Oh my god! I've got. I've got to show um, hey, Mr. Rabbit, that. Because he, he he does love his rabbits. He does love his rabbits. Where was this thing? Hello. Thank you very much. I'll I'll have to show him that. I'll have to show him. He'll love that. He'll love that. Anyone home? Can I? Oh, I can't use Doomer in here. I was like, can I fly up the stairs? No. Welcome. Uh, are you travelers? Yes. Hello? I can't move or do anything. That was weird. In. In addition to fully recovering HP the inn, you can get various benefits from eating food. And though the effects have their limits, they are powerful, so make good use of them. Alright then, so stay at the inn and eat a custard pie. 150% less likely to flinch when attacked. Eh, I, I just want a custard pie. You must be tired. Please, feel free to rest here. Apparently what I've got to do is press X on the dialogue, otherwise it just waits. But there's no nothing that tells you that. <laughs> That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Uh, which star do you call home? Whoa now. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets, and we now know Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yetus, was attacked by another planet's battleship, and I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders, and she's great with languages. And roughing it a little won't bother her. And now I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle with only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Asarius. Pfft, 
private action. Talking to an ally somewhere in town or city may result in a private action. Your relationship with your allies will change depending on how private actions go. Choose wisely and deepen your friendships. Oh my. I don't really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not going to find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Yeah, maybe a walk will tire me out. Who are you speaking to, mate? He's gone crazy. Just look at this orb. No, I want to look at the orb. Hmm. Hello. You're out there? Just walking on the spot? Okay. That's fine. Are you okay? <laughs> just like, I, I thought I'd broken her path. I thought I'd broken her and she just stuck there forever. <gasps> I heard a kitty. Is something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. Atta girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turn anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom, and Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I then ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. And look at the kitty. All right, I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. The kitty right there. Leticia's... <gasps> I'm sorry. Leticia's voice very much has this cadence where every single word seems to be Wait. thought out. And it makes for very interesting listening. I'm wondering if she is putting on her voice, thinking similar to a certain queen in another game who doesn't have this normal kind of voice and is trying to sound regal when they are not. That kind of thing. Maybe she's going to drop that at some point and it's going to sound more flowy. And maybe that's a hint towards her character and how she is. We'll keep a pin on that, though. We'll keep a pin on that. Right, let's head back to the inn then. Can I? Yes. Wait, so I can dodge in the air. I can still like move around. I keep hearing like a, ooh. And because I've been playing Tears of Arise recently, I feel like it's a, um, an owl. It's not an owl. Or is it? Could be. Anyone home? Give it just about a grown what? Oh, who left my door open? That's that's not good. Lock the door. Rest. It's been a while since I got a good night's rest. <sighs> night night, mate. I 
I'm wondering if he is sore all over at this point. You know, because of the crash. Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Letitia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right, sorry. This is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. All right, mate. Can we really not, oh, we can move it? Oh, he moves back. He moves back, look, oh. You right there, mate? I had a good look at him. I had to, come on. Come on. Is there any way to go like first person? That's scan. Target sighted. What, what do you mean target sighted? No, don't kill it. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's see about heading off then. Apparently we're meant to head down there, so. Well, that went well, didn't it? What, what is the... Oh, it's a quest. Chicham! Where have you got to? Hey, have you seen Chicham anywhere? That's the name of my pet kitty. Chicham loves high places. Maybe he ended up somewhere super high that I can't get to. Could you take a look for me? I mean, I have seen a kitty around, but I'm wondering if it is actually the same one. I'd like it if it is the same one. It's like, oh, there's the kitty we met earlier sort of thing. Search of the kitty Chacham that went missing in Losset village. Can't remember how they said it. And bring it back to the client. It might have climbed up onto some lofty place. He's the cutest cat in town, so he should be easy to spot. Please, please, please help me. Easy said than done. Get back to what? What are these things? Interesting. Sweet. Got some blueberries from that. All right, so we're looking for a kitty. Said it was a lofty place, but remember a kitty being over here. It's not you, but I did see one of those. Um, Derma thingies up there. So we'll get that first. Oh my god. Oh, there was the kitty. Look at that thing. Can we get on top of that? I wanna get I wanna get up on it. I'm actually on it. Oh, so there's gotta be somewhere you can go first person, surely. It'd be really funny. It'd be really funny. Sweet. Anyway, let's get up there and get the kitty. Kitty! Indeed. Quest condition cleared. Yeah, I didn't know we could float down. Cut your kitty! I'll take this over running deliveries any day. What, well, finding kitties? Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. I don't know what it is, but here, you can have it as thanks. Thank you so much for finding Chicham. Say thank you, Chicham. Oh, lovely. No problem, Chicham. Glad I could help you out. Chicham. Come on, you two. Let us be on our way. Is Delvic Village far from here? It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast. I would wager even a seasoned traveler would... Come, we make for the region of Delvir. Southbound from our current position, I believe. Roger that. <sighs> you seem to be getting used to using a sword, Ray. At first, your movements were rather unrefined, to say the least. Yeah, you think so? I guess I can't really tell if I am refined or not. You need merely continue practicing. I shall be relying on your skill. Well, I shall do what I can. 
Very well, I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. How did you know I was going to ask you for directions? I merely read the look of confusion written upon your face. Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvir region? I mean, from the looks of it, yeah. In combat area. Remain vigilant. I'm liking how quickly we can get about, though. Ew. I'd like the look of this area. It seems we have finally crossed into Delvir territory. Ooh, that took quite some time. Sure did. Let's keep on keeping on. I guess. Your Highness, pray mind your footing. Oh, hush, this is nothing. You worry far too much. It is because of your predisposition towards recklessness the moment I turn away. I must be vigilant. We should be going south from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. You would do well not to become a hindrance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Still at practice with this blindsiding. Doing it way too soon there. Output. I do want some practice time in somewhere doing that. We shall see, though. We shall see in the future at some point. Sweet! Line it up. Ah, oh, I missed one. Guess we get up there. I got it. Ooh, hello! Nope, let's not open it. Sweet. See more down there though. Get the jump on him. Another chest there. Energy levels low. Acceleration insufficient output. I'm coming for you guys. Diddly diddly do. You you cannot die, but you you clearly just did, mate. So. Sweet. I don't think denial is really going to help you out there too much. I see a building up there, though. Let me get to the next village. As soon as we're targeting you, we'll have you. There's a the blind side. I'm trying to get the timing down on that. I want to be as close as possible to it. I'm really, really try and take advantage of that. Anything big, that is. Anything tiny like this. Not yet. Still try it if it's far enough away, though. I'll get used to it over time. Just need the time. This is a village? Oh, hey. Is that Delric village over there? I'm gonna say yes. Seems no one else said it. Just ignore him. Big gates for a village, though. Like, this is a village? Okay. Huh. Talk about bustling. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Don't expect us to go looking for you if you get lost. Yeah, yeah. What's a town now? So, uh, what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning? We go pay a visit to the resident Iatrimancer. On the way home from some shopping. Ah, it's an inn. My husband is coming home. Okay, see you around. Oops, sorry about that. It's quite all right. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, 
I'm fine. Never seen you here before. But if you're feeling under the weather, don't hesitate to drop by the infirmary. The Iatromancer there is one of the best in the business, so you'll be in good hands. All right, gotta run. That was strange. Everything to me is strange. I know what happened. You were probably making one of your faces, and she assumed you were on death's door. Perhaps I was. Were you and her highness not such a handful, though, I wouldn't have to make any face. Ooh, hear that? Sounds like he's bad-mouthing you. Only because you goad him, reap what you have sown by yourself. Keep me out of it. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyone home? It's an inn. Why would there be anybody home? I want to play Esoa. I've got to play. Have to. Let's play together. What do you say? You don't have an Esoa deck. That's what I say. Well, hello there, youngster. You right. Um, chunky curry. Damage dealt at full HP. Restores one HP at regular intervals. We'll take that. Yes. I hope our humble mining town can offer you some respite on your journey. So do I. Simply delightful. It's a new day, everyone. All right. Now, how do we find this so-called Iatromancer? Enquire of the townsfolk. I can think of no other way. Huh. I suppose you're right. Maybe one of them knows something about Chloe, too. Oh, travelers! Welcome to Delric Village. Is this your first visit? I see. So you want to know where the infirmary is? Head west from here and you'll come to a large hill. The uh, infirmary is just up the slope. Are you feeling all right? If not, I'm certain Dr. Marcus can cure what ails you. Give the doc my regards when you see him. I will do. So the guy you're looking for is at the infirmary or whatever? Apparently so. It looks as though the infirmary is located farther up on the hill. Let us make for the west side of the village. I'm instantly looking out for places I can get up. Like, where, 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 where can I get up? Is there any way to not do that? Like, now, now I've activated it. It's like, well, I don't want to do it now. I cancel out of it. Would be nice. If I do it there, maybe I'll slide up. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That seems better. Steady. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. Sweet. Yeah, it's gotta be Welsh. It's gotta be. Anyone home? Welsh, clearly. Hello? No? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Would have been lovely. Would have been lovely. My bad. Here we are, Marquis's Infirmary. So, what are we waiting for? Let's meet this guy. Very well. Anyone home? You're gonna say that every time, aren't you? Uh, perhaps he is out. Well, hello again. Wait a sec, you're that sick guy I bumped into last night. Hey. This girl, the gifted Iatromancer you were talking about? I... I very much doubt that. Wow, talk about rude. You come in here and call me bad at my job? That, that was not my intent. I simply meant that you are not who we have come to see. We have traveled quite the distance to employ the services of one Marcus Eason. Oh, you're here for the doctor. Sorry. My name's Nina. I'm an apprentice Iatromancer, and by extension, Dr. Ezen's assistant. A pleasure. So then, I assume he's the one who needs to see a doctor. As I have said, I am fine. I'm sure you've come a long way, but the doctor can't see you. The thing is, he's not even in right now. He left for the mines to collect some samples for his research. By the sound of it, he probably won't be back anytime soon. 
Dr. Eason! What's the matter? Ah, Nina. Fiends have appeared from the mines to the east. There are many wounded. We need you. Now! Wait, the mines? That's where the doctor said he was going. Um, uh, how many people have been injured? Do you know? I don't know. Tons. I wasn't gonna stop and count. We got your back on this, Nina. Round up all the supplies we can. No time to be picky. All right. Sounds good. And thanks for the support. I mean it. Nina, take us to the abandoned mine. Okay, you got it. Right this way. Not good, not good. We need to hurry. Maester Marcus, are you all right? Think it's poison? Can't feel my legs. Siphon the venom out! <sighs> Didn't know it'd be this bad. All right, people, got an Eatromancer here. And she brought medicine. Okay, first I gotta figure out what exactly is wrong with them. Next, need to find a place where I can lay everything out. Then... Ah! Monsters are back! Someone do something! Damn, just can't catch a break, huh? Albert, Leticia, Duma, you ready to throw down? Of course. This shall not take long. Don't get caught. Yeah. You wouldn't want to stick your arm in that, would you? Enemies who cannot be blindsided. You cannot blindside enemies with no eyes. Huh, oh, like worms. Nor enemies with many eyes and no blind spots. Think of enough of a strategy. Just charge at them anyway. Can you underside them? Maybe way of doing it. Still do the pattern though, you know. Want it to be habit very quickly. Build that muscle memory, you know. For my own understanding, do you often see these monsters around here? No. I I've never seen anything like them in my life. Now that you mention it, have you even met this doctor before? I have. Nina's pretty busy, so I guess that leaves us three to get him out. You mean the three people who have no clue how to navigate these tunnels? We might not, but this little puppy will. Once we log our route, that way we can at least get back out. Then it is decided. Into the depths we go. So be it. However, these mines will be teeming with fiends. By failing to prepare, we prepare for death. Well, we'll be preparing for death in the next part when we go into the Delric mines. Ta-da for now.